Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm going to teach you how to make a connected name with an offset path just like you see in this picture. And we're going to use Xtools XCS to do this today. Now XCS lacks a few of the features that we would normally use in other programs to get this done. However, there's a couple really easy ways to get around it and do it anyway. So first thing we're going to do is choose the text option over here on the left and it's going to just put in hello and we're going to type in our own text. In this case, I'm going to put in Mitchell's room and I'm going to choose a font that's nice and chunky big and thick it'd be a lot easier to cut out and to also weld together you can use whatever you want I would just recommend you don't use something very thin and in this case I'm going to use one called bloom and legend because it's a fun font for a kid's name or for a kid's name sign now the next thing we're going to want to do is move all these letters close enough together so they're touching each other so we can weld them together as a single shape and we're going to want to also rotate a few of the letters to make them uh, both not merge together visually too much, which I'll show you in a minute, and also to make it a little playful for a kid's name. And XCS doesn't actually have uh, the ability to do the individual letters in a normal way like other programs do. However, there's an easy way around that. So what you want to do is you want to right click on the text and then go to export as SVG and it says the text will be rasterized and then exported it's fine and we're going to save it uh right on i'm going to do it on my desktop here and um just call it mitchell's as an svg like that and then i'm just going to move this out of the way because we're not going to use that at the moment and i'm going to go up to the file folder and import image and there it is on my desktop we'll bring it in and now it went way over there. Let me move it over here. And now we've got these letters individual where you can click on them separately. And that's what we needed. All right. So maybe in the future we won't have to do that workaround, but for the moment we do. So now we can uh, select the eye. We're going to turn it just a little bit clockwise because I want it to be able to hit the bottom of the M over there. Uh, but I don't want it to just turn into a single line that, that uh, looks like it's part of the M. I'm going to move the T over, have it overlap. The C, we're going to move it over as well and um, have to use my arrow keys to get the smaller movements. I want to also rotate rotate it um, counterclockwise a little bit because I don't want this edge to completely blend with the H. Uh, and I think you'll pick up the kind of idea here as we go. Bring the H over, arrow key it over a little bit there. Just make sure it overlaps enough so we can weld it together. Again, the E, I don't want this line right here to completely um, get obscured by the side of the L. So I'm going to turn it just a little bit like this, get it overlapped just a tiny bit with the H, bring the L over, let it hit the bottom of that E there next to it so you can still see it's an E. Now the next L, what I don't want is I don't want it to just uh, merge with the bottom of the other L. I want it to be up just a little bit uh, so that you can tell that it's two L's, if you see my meaning right down there. Last two we've got is the S and the apostrophe. Make sure the uh, S gets over like that, apostrophe. I want to drag that one over just so you can see it and it touches the top of the S. We're in good shape there. I'm sorry, select select all of this and we're going to combine. Uh, combine up here and unite right there. And now it unites it all as one shape. Then all we have to do is room down here. We're going to move again the, the O next to the R. The other O overlap the O. And then... Get the M to touch, select all that. We'll go to Combine, Unite. And all we have to do now is uh, align it with the one right above it uh, so that it's centered, uh, so that they're aligned in center like this. And it will naturally just uh, pop into place there. And then the last thing we want to do is select both words and then go to Outline. And you just pick the distance that makes sense for the size that you're making it. I, I made this uh, quite small, so a point seven a zero point zero seven nine makes sense but normally you'd want to do um bigger than that if the if this is pretty good size but you can make whatever size makes sense for you i'm going to turn off this add inner outline for bitmap turn that off and then i hit okay and now we've got the outline here which you can cut separately and then we've got the words there connected to make it really really easy and now you've got exactly what we have right here